How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 7 in my Lambda Expressions in Java 8 series. Really fired up right now, just got back from the gym. Normally I do these tutorials in the morning but didn't have time so I'm doing them now. I'm still on my creatine rush so let's go. Hopefully I don't talk too fast for you guys. Now uh, last tutorial we went over reduction. This tutorial we're going over the collectors class. So, the collector's class is part of the uh, stream uh, package. And to import it, I guess let's do that first. So, to import the collector's class, we're going to do uh, import java.util.stream.collectors. It's not collector, it's collectors, so an S on the end. There we go. Now we have this imported. So, uh, before I start the video, I quickly made these two lists. One is called letters, one is called names, and uh, both will come into play. Now the collectors class um, is used inside the uh, stream stream dot collect method. So we're gonna pretty much the anything we do with our collectors class is gonna happen inside here. Now, just want to point out what I am about to teach you. It's not what you're limited to do. Uh, limited to doing. There are a ton more methods. I'm just going to cover some important stuff. Um, but if you go to the uh, Java 8 API, you can see all the different methods that you can use. There is a bunch of them. I'm just going to cover, well, two that I think are important. And then I'll touch a little bit on uh, a couple similar ones. So, let's get started. Now, as usual, first I'm going to give you an example of how we would have had to do something like this in Java 7. So, for the first example, we are going to concatenate all the uh, letters we have in this array list. So, what we would have to do in Java 7, first, we would make a string, call it concat, maybe, and just set it as a blank string. It can't be null, it would have to be a blank string. And then a for loop. So for string L for letter in our letters list. All right, now inside this for loop, what we would do is concat plus equals L. And that would be our concatenation. And then just to show you the result, system dot out dot print line, ln for short. And then in here we would put concat. So just quickly, I'm going to run this just to show you. And there you go. I don't think I mentioned this, but the letters are the letters A through F. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, a lot easier to do this with uh, Lambda expressions um, or, uh, well, streaming it. This one's not really a Lambda expression, but it's something you can put on the end of a stream. I guess I didn't really specify that. This is not, like, we're not going to be passing a Lambda expression in, but it's something that's going to be useful uh, to put on the end of a stream, maybe one that used Lambda expressions. So. Just to clarify that, um, now we're going to create a string, call it concat2, and as our Java 8 example, we are going to stream our list of letters, and then if we wanted to, we could map, or uh, we could filter and pass in a lambda expression, but I'm not going to. I've already showed you guys how to do that. I'm just going to skip right to the collectors class. So like I said, we're going to pass everything into our collect, our stream.collect method. And here is where it's going to go down. So what we're going to do, collectors dot joining. And there we go. Joining is the method, and it will... Uh, concatenate all the uh, letters 
well, strings in the stream together. And then the exact same thing. I'm going to print this out when we're done. All right. But we're going to be printing out concat2. Run, run. And we get the exact same result. Now, one thing I'm going to add here. Whatever you put in uh, here, uh, like if you put in a string, that will be put in between each, uh, each string being concatenated together. So if we put a comma in here, well, then there will be a comma separating each letter. So there you go. Uh, if we wanted to put a bar in there for some reason, we can do that and have a bar between each letter. But it's not going to do it to the last one, so keep that in mind. It's only going to do it for uh, when it's only going to do it in between two letters. So it's not going to do it to the first one in front, and it's not going to do it behind the last one. So that's what I want to talk about, about concatenating strings. Like I said, we could. Um, filter our stream, we could map our stream if we wanted to. This is not a Lambda expression, but I'm including it in this series because it's something we can put on the end of one of our streams that uses Lambda expressions. Now, next what I'm going to do is talk about the to list method. This one is going to, once again, be put at the end of a stream, but the stream I will use Lambda expressions. Um, and this is where the names class or names list is going to come in. What I want to do, I got th one, two, three, four, five, six names in here: um, Adam, Brent, Andrew, Carl, Doug, Alex. Just random names. And what we're going to do is create a new list which only contains all the names that start with the letter A. So let let's do that. Um, so first, how we would have done this in Java Seven. Well, we would have created a new array list. So array list, and inside our open our greater than and less than signs, we're going to put string because that's what's going to be inside this array list. Um, and we're going to call this names. Uh, I'm not going to make it a long one. Names with a, just call it that. And we're going to set this equal to new. Array list string open close brackets semicolon. Now we're going to once again do a for loop. So for string n for name in names. Well, then all we're going to do is names with a dot add or wait a minute I'm, I'm skipping a step don't delete that yet um I just forgot to uh, check do an if statement so if n dot starts with a then we are going to add it to our list so add n all right and that's what's gonna happen and I will print out this list. Now, actually, I'll just run it just to show you. So everything worked fine. It gave us the names that we wanted. Java 8's way, a lot easier. So uh, we're going to do list. I could have made this a list if I wanted to. I just made it an array list because I'm what I'm used to using. This one I'm gonna do a list and pass in string. And this is gonna be called uh, names with a two. And we'll set this equal to names dot stream dot filter. Already talked about this one, and we're just gonna filter for each. X X dot starts with A. And we're going to finish this all off using our collectors class. And what the collectors class is going to do here is convert this stream into a list containing all of the uh, elements left in the stream. And so we're going to do collectors dot to list. And that's going to give us what we want. 
Oops, I forgot to print it out at the end just to show you everything went according to plan. Run. So there you go. Exact same result. Actually, I'll just turn this to a list just to make it the exact same. All right. All right, exact same still. Okay. Now, like I said, I'll just touch on a couple of the other things. I'm not going to actually program them because this video, yeah, it's getting a little long. So I'm just going to talk about them. The two set, pretty much the exact same as two list, except for you get a set instead of a list. Uh, same, there's a two map, so you get a map. Um, the two list one I talked about. And reducing. So last one, last tutorial, I did a reduction tutorial. You could use the collector version of that instead. Although I like the other way better. Um, counting. Uh, which just counts the number of elements that are in the uh, stream right now. Uh, averaging. So it would give you an average of the number of integers. Average of the number of doubles. Average of the number of longs. So there is a lot more methods that you can use. I'm just touching on those two. Those are the two I use the most. I really thank you guys for watching this video. That's all I have for you right now. Please leave a comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe. And as usual, I'm going to remind you to check out codingbasics.ca where I try to update it all the time with uh, written tutorials, videos, and anything I forget to mention in these video tutorials. So thank you, and I will see you next time.